Butterfly, an autumn meditation for sleep by Jade Maitre One morning, you open your eyes to feel a cool breeze on your face. The summer has been so long that you've forgotten a little how it feels to be in autumn. What the air smells like and how it makes you feel crisp, windy. It makes you feel like dancing, like a little tumbleweed on a blowy, grassy hill. But now there is a cool sensation on your face and you realize that autumn has arrived. You push your bedclothes back and jump out of bed. You open the window and put your face to the morning. The earth is covered in a carpet of orange, red and brown. Here comes fall. How beautiful it is. Can you smell the deep, wet earth? Can you feel the cool bite to the morning before the sun warms everything up? You pull on a jacket and shoes and walk gently outside. It is completely silent, save for the powerful rustle and swish of the tall trees surrounding your house as their branches move in the wind. Those smooth boughs and russet-coloured leaves seem to speak to one another and to you. Their sound is soothing, like a deep sigh from the belly. You can hear the crunch of crunchy leaves beneath your feet. Then you stop and notice the sound of the geese as they sweep strongly above your head. Their wings plunge through the air and their single note of a squawk lifts in the wind then dies away as they pass. But now, in the silence of this quiet morning, you see so much more. The tiny red rose hips quiver on their branches. The summer flowers hang heavily, readying to slumber. The thin light of the cold morning sunshine gleams on dewdrops, glistening like jewels on the drooping leaves. The sky starts pale and deepens where the night has not yet turned to day. There are the faintest wisps of clouds about the horizon. The translucent mark of the moon on the brightening sky, like a stamp, which gets paler as the sun rises and the heavens turn to light. It is then that you see something miraculous. A brilliant blue butterfly wafts across the damp, cold grass. It hovers up and down as though caught on invisible currents of air. It darts through the bushes as though searching for something magical. What is it? You cannot begin to guess. You begin to follow this beautiful blue butterfly through the garden into the forest. It glimmers like a tiny colourful light, sometimes appearing, sometimes disappearing between the calm grey boughs of the trees. You wonder as you follow it, is it taking you somewhere? Will you discover a teddy bear's picnic? A fairy feast? A hollow tree where on looking closer, studded within, there is a tiny enchanted door. The sun is higher now, a promise of warmth, just the tiniest bit of warmth, all the sun can muster in these cool, sleeping seasons. But the gentle trees still hug you as though in a shady embrace. You hear your breath in, out. In, out, as your footsteps echo from the forest floor, the blue butterfly swirls as though it dances with you and the air. Finally, it stops in a sweet grove of stones and soft moss, thyme and lavender, dry 
now that the summer has passed. It lends a sweet, tranquil perfume to the air. You sink to your knees and the butterfly hovers up. It seems to kiss you on the tip of your nose, then lands on the end of your finger. Can you see how beautiful its wings are up close? They are beset with little patterns of black and silver, as beautiful as a drawing that someone spent a year on. Now you are closer to the ground, you can also see how the leaves, orange, red and brown, also have these delicate features, as though someone drew them on, feathery textures, flashes of colour, and where the rain has kissed them, deep black patches, which will one day turn to soil and grow new trees anew. How lovely it would be, you think then, just to sink to this soft bed of moss and look up at the swaying trees and the cold, bright sky. And so you do. There is no one to stop you and no reason at all why you shouldn't do just as you please. You lie on your back, cocooned by the peacefulness of this little forest spot. You close your eyes for a moment and feel how warm you are in your jacket, cosy and soft. You are so safe and comfortable here. Lying here like this, you listen, too, to the sound of nature around you. The wind as it sighs through the forest canopy. The soft hum of insects which have not quite yet gone to sleep for the winter. And then, magically, the tiny crunch of ants carrying the last of their summer harvest to their snug holes before the long winter's rest. Now, take a deep breath. Feel the clean, fresh forest air fill your lungs with all that is good and alive. As you breathe out, all your worries whoosh out with the breath. You do this a few times. In that beautiful, pristine morning autumn air. Out. There goes everything that has ever made you sad or worried or lonely. It's a beautiful thing breathing like this in this safe, protected forest of your mind. And now, as the sun finally bursts into dawn, you can feel the soft, warm glow of light bathing your entire body. How comforting it is. How peaceful you are. You lay there as long as you want. And when you are ready, you open your eyes once more. You say a silent farewell to the little butterfly, which still wafts around damp tree stumps and final flowers. Then you walk softly back to your home, your footfall making gentle sounds on the leafy carpet of the forest floor. When you see your home, the lights are on, and you know that breakfast is on its way. Warm drinks and all the foods you love best are arranged on the table, waiting for you. And you know that the day will go on and you will carry the seeds of this miraculous autumn morning with you for all the hours to come. The cool, cosy, quiet glory of the seasons turning and the vast eternity within you. The end.